Viikoottelun tapaan meillä on henkilökuva luvassa ja henkilökuvassa tänään Kaavolleen päävalmentaja Oliver Lyytse. Tere tulemasta, Oliver. Terve. We decided to make this in English because it will be easier if we both talk English, even you understand Finnish well, I know, but I think for the listeners, for the viewers, it's easier. Let's start about you. Young guy from Estonia, but you have coached many years already in your home, home country in Estonia. How did you fell in love, first of all, with volleyball? Um, just it, it, I was a kid uh, and I went to the volleyball uh, practice and year by year uh, practicing these sports uh, for more and more into this and in some point uh, as a player I realized that uh, all big ambitions what I have in the sport I can't manage this as a player and uh, I decided to continue as a coach already if I was 23 years old. So you had any other options than when you noticed that this will be, you will not be a professional as a player. The first thing was to think that you will start to coach. Yeah, that, let's say that the right things went together. I uh, got a good offer from Tartu to team uh, to start with juniors and in uh, men's team assistant coach and uh, and same time started uh, working together with the Estonian junior national teams and. Uh, Let's say right things uh, in the right moment happened for me and uh, it went year by year and so I'm here. So tell us how you are as a coach. What are your like guidelines as a coach? What kind of coach you are? Maybe one thing that I want to do things differently or um, I think guys who has worked together with me know knows what I mean. Uh, definitely I'm analyzing a lot. Mm always want to secure that I'm doing enough job with Analyze that after I can't complain that something was uh, uh, not prepared. Uh, with the players, I um, try to communicate a lot, asking a lot of feedback, especially from, about physical situation, to, to build up the, the trainings. I think for some players it's a little bit uh, strange or not so useful. Uh, but um, Let's see, of course, I'm, I'm still young and uh, still uh, building up my way how to coach, uh, developing every year and uh, I hope that uh, I'm every year a little bit better coach as last year. So you admitted to yourself from the start that you are not perfect, you don't know everything. This must be like one of the uh, like most important points as a coach that you can learn all the time. Yeah, of course. If uh, I think in, if I had been five years as assistant coach, it was period when I thought that okay, I'm so smart guy already. If I started as a head coach after a few years, you realize that okay, there is a long, long way to go. And uh, of course, uh, game is developing. Game, game is changing all the time. And same time, uh, every coach has to has to go with this and uh, can't can't stop and think that he's ready. Like you say, game is developing and you have to be there on the top all the time, that you have to be a little bit forward every time. What is the most important thing in these last two years you have been here about the volleyball, where volleyball has gone and you think that you have succeeded, like being before this development? Uh, very hard to say, yeah. If I, if I came here, uh, I think all this club, was wasn't in that level where we are at the moment and I try to give my my push push for this club and same time very happy that all these people around this club uh, is working hard and all the club is going more and more professional so here one big thing was everything went and is going still more and more professional uh, trying to take uh, If you are talking about volleyball, I'm trying to take uh, things from the top if I'm watching the Champions League or, or Poland, Italian leagues. But at the same time, we have to understand that the uh, level of the players, what is there and level players is here, it's not the same and you have to adapt this for, for, for your team. So it's some kind of mix about the level here and about the level what we can see from the top. About Aka, when... Uh I arrived to the hall. I feel this like family atmosphere here. This is what you are talking about also, that people have nice time when they come to here to work for the club and also, of course, the people who come to watch your game. 
you agree with me? Yeah, of course, this uh, feeling here and around the club is uh, all this community here is uh, very, very good. And uh, let's let's say that the club in Mösteros Liga is, is young and uh, everybody is still very enthusiastic to, to, to support uh, the team. I think something about you as a coach tells also this, that you coach the men's league team here in the Mestarus League, but also like last summer you were with the women's national team of Estonia, you went to the European Championship there as a assistant coach of Andre Ojamets then. Uh, how do you feel about these differences? I don't ask what's the difference between women's and men's volleyball, but about coaching, there is more similar things or more different things between coaching women's and men. Mm, for me, it's it's quite uh, similar. I'm not thinking too much that here is women's, there is men's. Uh, of course, some some things are different, but also uh, a lot of things are very similar. And if you are talking about national team level, then there is a lot of very good level players in uh, in women's team also. And you can uh, practice and do things with them uh, in the same like you are doing with the men's. How big thing for you was go with the Estonian women to the European Championship to last summer? Of course, the, all this uh, event for Estonian volleyball was a very big success. Women's was first time in the European Championships. Uh, same time for me, as uh, indivi- individually for me, uh, to be part of the Estonian national uh, team is uh, is an honor and. Um, and we had very good team and uh, very good uh, staff together. Uh, it was very nice to work in this kind of uh, group there. So you talk it was the head coach change now for the Italian head coach. So we will not see you with the Estonian national team next summer? Uh, yeah, I have to say that I'm not continuing with the women's national team. Okay, this was some kind of news here also. But about Estonian volleyball, like uh, Finnish men went to the European Championship and took the fourth place like what it's now almost 15 years ago. Estonian men came a little bit later to this level and now you are a little bit ahead of us, let's say this way. And for the women it's quite equal. Uh, what is the main thing that Estonian volleyball is going faster than Finnish volleyball at now in the national team level? Of course, I think main thing is um, what kind of um, what kind of uh, players you have. Let's say that these players who had in Finnish national team in the in 15 years ago, who is now still playing and quite experienced guys. In that that time, they was young, uh, hungry, and in very good level. So uh, it was very very good uh, group of the players uh, for Finnish. Same for us, uh, these players born 1993, uh, let's, let's say some of them, Oliver Venno, uh, Robert Taht, uh, René Deppan, Andre Agan, it's, uh, we have just some period where very good players came into the national team. And of course for Estonia, uh, successful was the coach change, where the first time the Coach from Maprod came to Estonia and uh, all players uh, trust him a lot and all the process went a lot uh, more professional and, uh, and better in that way. When we started to play, uh, speak about Estonia volleyball, of course, I want to ask you about the Baltian League also. It has been now uh, stories about that and thinking about going to the league with Estonia and a little bit with Latvia also. What's your, what's your thought about the Baltian League? Uh, I think it... it the idea is very good, uh, especially for the teams here in the South uh, Finland. Uh, problem is that for the teams who is the, for in the north, let's talk already in Kokkola, in Topia, because of the traveling, because of the traveling and also because of the money, uh, what you have to put in because of that. Uh, same time, uh, at the moment we are playing four rounds here, it's quite many. Uh, if we can keep still two rounds here in Mestaros Liga and same time we are playing these other two rounds against different teams, it will be good for the teams, for the players. But uh, like I said, problem for the teams who has to travel more and uh, let's see how it's, how it's going. Okay, Oliver, and then last question. 
what I ask from everybody in this interview, where you see yourself in 10 years? I know this is a really easy question to answer, but where you see, you see yourself in 10 years as a coach? Uh, first, I uh, hope that I'm still a volleyball coach, but uh, never say never. Uh, uh, where I am, let's see, very hard to say. Uh, I want to develop year by year, and uh, of course my ambitions are quite big, but at the same time, you have to understand that um, one thing are your personal ambitions, other thing is uh, your personal life, and all these things has to fix together. So uh, I don't have one big goal that I have to be there in after 10 years. So uh, I'm taking this as a process of the life, and let's see how, how far I can go. I started about asking that we speak in English, but Kuidas on the same word? No, täna täna mugan puhu puhu puhuda so äh, englanti. Kyllä äh, ensi kerta puhumme suomeksi. Yeah, I promise also to ask some questions in Estonian next time. Thank you so much and all the best. Kiitos.